one way we get everybody into the game, okay? We have, I think, 7 million children born a year in the United States. Mm -hmm. If you gave every single one of them an Invest America account, so think of that as a Robin Hood account on their parents' phone that would eventually be on their phone. And it just shows up from the government. When you're shows born. up from the government. You get your social security number, you get an Invest America account. We fund the account based on means. If your parents make over $200,000 a year, maybe we put a hundred bucks into the account. Your parents can fund it up to $5,000. So it's like a FAFSA type. Right. If you're under a certain threshold, we put 5,000 bucks in it. Okay. Can't take the money out. Compounds at six, 7% for, you know, 50 years. It's worth a million bucks. Okay. But much more importantly, the behavioral psychology, the behavioral economist knows the propensity of somebody who actually has a savings account, an investment account to save goes up dramatically, okay? So because you actually have a little snowball, you mm -hmm. understand the law of compounding, right? So if we wanna educate and include and make everybody feel like the system isn't rigged against them, then they actually have to be part of the game, right? We have a way to do this. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Right. In the in the scheme of things like this is less than $20 billion a year for the federal government. This is a drop in the bucket relative to trillion dollar stimulus plans, you know, trillion dollars of defense spending. And this is a game changer psychologically and otherwise for everybody in the system, because now over a period of 20 years, you've effectively gone from 30 percent of the people being owners to 100 percent of the people being owners.